So the sun is out on a crisp winter morning and I'm tasked today with finding the best British two-car garage. Now it will obviously include the Jaguar Project 7 and that's a given. It's one of the best cars to have come out of Britain for a long, long time. But we've also got another car in mind that's the perfect daily driver. So let's go and take a look and see what the best of Britain has to offer. So, first up on our perfect two-car garage is the magnificent Rolls-Royce Dawn, finished here in Andalusian white with soft seashell interior. It really is the perfect daily driver. So one of the things that makes the Dawn so perfect for the UK is the beautiful soft top. And I've been converted to the world of cabriolet motoring by this car. There is nothing better than millions of miles of sky and the cold and the heated seat and the heated steering wheel. Majestic. I've got the roof in place today. Because it's one degree outside, it is freezing. And it's like we're driving in a double glazed house. It's incredible. As you drive along, you just see the spirit of ecstasy in front of you on that long swooping bonnet. It's such a beautiful place to be. I mean, if you wanted a yacht for the road, this is what you'd buy. It just, it, it is so sumptuous. I don't really have any other words to describe it. It's got open core royal walnut trim. Who even specifies that? But it's magnificent. It really is. You don't have a rev counter in the Rolls Royce because that's ridiculous. You have a power reserve, which gives you a percentage of how much power you're using at any one point. It's brilliant. Who doesn't want a power reserve? So the Rolls-Royce Dawn is powered by a 6-litre twin-turbo V12. Although you wouldn't believe it, it's so quiet. And that's why it's such a superb place to be when you're driving on a long journey. You can listen to classic FM or classic DAB. The whole philosophy of Rolls-Royce is luxury. And you have it abound in here. From the suicide doors all the way through to the bespoke audio, it's magnificent. I mean, if you were going to have a daily driving car, this is what you'd want. It is perfect in every way. So with the Rolls-Royce Dawn safely tucked away in the stables, it's time for car number two in the Great British Garage. And there isn't anything else I would choose than the Project 7. It might be one degree out here, it might be freezing cold, but we've got no roof, no frills, pure out and out V8 madness. So that's the one I want to go and try now. Let's go. with the dawn it's all about convertibles and it's one degree outside and you can hear all of the noise 
and you can experience all of the senses and it's just so much more fun which is why my two car garage consists of two convertibles I have been converted I mean when you think about it my ears are freezing my hair's all over the place I just don't care such an angry sounding roar. Jaguar, you nailed the V8. I mean, you can fit in every single bump, every single corner, but that's how it should be. It's complete contrast. That's what makes a two car garage work. Just such a joyous noise. <laughs> I mean, really, there isn't a better two-car garage for a gentleman than this. Two British cars, two very different characters, and two cars that have a firm slot in the gentleman racer stables. All that's left to say, really, is the fact that the Gentleman Racer's perfect two-car garage is the Rolls-Royce Dawn and the Jaguar Project 7. No question. They really are special.